Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a retail dashboard in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, we have created this retail dashboard. This is the overview page of the retail dashboard. Here in the overview page, we have taken the navigation on the top to jump into the another page like overview, product performance, store analysis, sales team performance and the customer analysis. In this page, we have given few slicers on the left hand side like month, product category, store location. And on the right hand side, we have given sales representative name and the product name. On the top, we have given some cards to show the high level information like total gross sale amount. Then this is the total sales amount, which is the net sale after the uh, discount. And this is the average discount on every product. And here we have the total quantity and this is the discount amount, the total discount amount. Okay. Then here we are showing the gross sale amount by the product. So we have the various products here and we can see the gross sale amount by the product. This is the total sales amount by the product. And here we have the gross sale amount by the sales representative name. Now, if you want to see this information for a particular month, you can simply select from here. Then whole information will be filtered according to the, that particular month. So this is for the Jan data. And if you want to see the information for a particular product category or the location, so you can select the uh, location, store location from here. And now we are seeing the January data for the Houston uh, store location. Okay, so easily you can identify or e easily you can analyze your data in the way which you want. Okay, now we can remove the filter from here and we can remove the filter from here. Now I will show you the product performance also. So let's go to the product performance page to show you the product performance related information. Now here we have the same slicers on the right hand side and on the left hand side. We are showing here total sales amount, which is the net sale amount by the product category. So we have these category. We can see maximum sale is coming in this particular category and then in this one. Okay. And here we are showing the quantity sold by the product name. So we can see how much quantity was sold for a particular product. Again, you can see it by store also. You can select any store. Okay. Now here we are showing the average discount by the product name. And this is the sales representative. You can select any sales representative name from here. Accordingly, whole data will be filtered. Okay. Now let me go to the store analysis and we can see the store level information here. This is the name or the location of the store uh, by the sales amount. And this is quantity sold in the particular uh, store. You can see by the product also. Let's say I want to see the information for the laptop in the different store. So we are seeing the information for the laptop only in the uh, in this location. Uh, in location by sales and this is the location by quantity and here we have seen the location wise discount given for the laptop okay so you can analyze the data as you want now let's go to the sales team performance page and here we are showing the total sales by the sales representative name so you can see who is performing good and who is performing bad from here and uh, here in terms of the quantity showed we can see and again you can select any particular product also and accordingly you can see the sale and the quantity sold according to that. The last one we are showing the customer level analysis also so you can easily see the top 10 customers here top 10 customers by the total sales so you can easily analyze which one is uh, from where you are getting the maximum sale from which customer and uh, by the quantity order value also this is the average order value. So we can see the average order value as well as we can see the average discount percentage also which we are giving to the particular customer. So they are top 10 customers. Okay. Now you can see it for uh, the particular product also. Let's say I have selected this product. Now these customers top 10 customers are for this particular product only. Okay. And you can see uh, by particular month also if you want or top 10 customer for a particular store if you want. So you can select the store here. So you can analyze the data in the various ways as you want using this dashboard. 
Now I will quickly show you how we have created this dashboard and this is a ready to use dashboard how you can add the data here. So first let me show the data tab. So to show that you need to go to the file and options. Here just click on advanced and just scroll it down slowly and display option for this workbook here you can see we have one option that is so seat tab just check that click on ok now we can see all the seat tabs here ok these are five seat tabs then we have the data so we can see the data here in the data we have transaction id we have customer name we have product category product name and we have store location date unit sold unit price discount sales representative name discount amount and then we have the gross sale here we have the total sale total sales is the we can say formula here that is net sale so we are using the formulas here you don't need to put these data automatically it will be considered and here we are calculating the month and year also now on the support sheet we have created various pivot table to create the cards as well as the charts here on this overview as well as the other page so we have given one line here so these all pivot tables are for the overview and then we have the some other pivot tables for the overview we have these three pivot tables here and then we have created product performance here so we can see these three tables here on the basis of that on the product performance we are creating chart okay similarly we have created the other pivot tables here for every page and we have given this black line also so that you can see this uh, these pivot tables are for this page then these pivot tables are for this page okay easily you can identify you just need to append your data at bottom and or you can delete this data and you can put your own data after that you just need to go to the data tab and from here you just uh, need to click on refresh all automatically everything will be refreshed and all pivots as well as the uh, dashboard pages will show the data according to the data tab all right so that is how you can update the data now i will show you how we have created this if you want to learn in detailed how we can create such type of dashboard using the pivot table and the chart you can you can join our udemy course we have given the link in the video description box we have explained each and every part in detail as well as we have given the practice file also inside this course so you can join that to learn in detail I can give you the high level overview how I have created this dashboard using this data. So first what we have done we have created a design in the back end which is protected as of now so you can just go to the review and just click on unprotect. As you click on unprotect it will be unprotected without asking any password because we haven't put any password here. Now we have designed using the different excel shapes for example in the back end we have this uh, excel shape you can see this is a rectangle excel shape then over this we have put this excel shape and then we have put here various uh, excel shapes like uh, this one this is a text box then we have given one excel shape here and then we have applied the hyperlink using the control k and you can uh, go to the place in this document and you can just connect with the particular sheet so that when you click it will take you to the particular shape seat okay like this then we have created here various shapes uh, of the rectangles you can see this is the different shapes this is the different shape and here we have created the slicers also we have changed the set uh, the style of the slicers i will show you how you can change it inside the excel course which we i am discussing the link is given in the video description box we have explained in detail how you can create the slicer and how you can change the custom style of the slicers. Before that I will show you how you can create this type of cards also. So for example we have this data here now I can just add a new sheet and go to the view and uncheck the grid lines here and you can fill some background color if you want let's say I have taken this color okay then you can just insert the rectangle. So let's say I have taken this rectangle and you can just click here 
go to the save format and let's say I have taken this outline color and the weight of the outline is half point background color we have filled white color here okay now we have created the text box so just go to the insert text box from here and just drag that text box here so first you can create the heading of that so just click on the outline of this text box go to the formula bar press equal to from the support sheet we can just click here so that we can fetch the heading of this just enter so we can see the heading of this let's make it slightly bigger and keep this here go to the format shape outline take no outline for this text box and the save fill also take no fill for this text box you can take the font color as the theme color let's say i'm taking this one and just make this bold okay now make the copy of this you can press ctrl d and you can just place this here this is connected with c3 just press equal to and from the support sheet let's connect with c4 and just enter we can see the numbers here now align this center center and make this bigger you can change the font name also let's say i'm taking arial rounded empty bold and font whatever you want okay now as the value of this pivot table will be changed automatically the uh, data will be changed here also for example let's say here i'm just applying the month january and if i come to the seat one you can see the number is changed just because now the new number is appearing here which is the filtered number right so whenever you apply the slicer it will be changed automatically and to create the chart uh, we can again let's say make a copy of this box and you can create a bigger box like this and you can insert the chart let's say i want to insert a chart for this one let's insert a chart let's say i want to insert this 3d column chart so let's click here and go to the format or go to the pivot chart analyze field buttons and just hide all we can remove the legend from here and the grid lines also just make this bigger you can take the font uh, the uh, column color as per the theme so let's say i'm taking this color and then go to the shape effects and apply some bevel to make it more attractive so i am applying this bevel which is round now right click go to the format data series and change the cap width and right click add the data labels uh, let's add from here okay so you can format the charts in various ways in our course we have explained various type of advanced label charts how you can create that using the pivot table especially like battery chart and the progress circle chart and speedometer chart and so many charts we have explained so that you can create the beautiful dashboard using those so please join our course link is given in the video description box now once you have created this chart you can cut this from here control x and then come to the seat one and you can paste over this uh, let's make this slightly bigger and keep this here and let's keep your chart here okay now from the chart you can remove the outline shape outline let's take no fill uh, no outline and shape fill as no fill okay so this chart is ready that is how we have created the chart and to insert the slicer you can just click on the any pivot table insert a slicer from here and let's say i want to insert the slicer for month and let's cut this slicer from here control x and let's paste this slicer in this seat and you can place this as you want you can take the multiple column from here let's take two three column and you can change the style of this slicer from the slicer and take the slicer style whatever you want let's say i'm taking this one if you want to take the custom style you can take that also we have explained in our course how you can take the custom style like this so please join the course and you will get to know how to apply this type of custom style also on the slicer now if you click then you can see our chart is getting changed as well as this card is also getting changed so that is how we have created this dashboard one by one 
and we have created this as a ready to use for you so that you can input your data and you can use this as you want if you want to learn how to create this in the detail with the practice files you can join our course the link is given in the video description box friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching